What up everybody? Instruct the beats back again here with another place value street lesson, right? Welcome to place value street. Today we're talking about writing numbers in word form. So let's take a walk down the street and see what our objective is today. All right, our objective today. Today we'll be able to write numbers in standard form and word form by using my knowledge of our positional place value system. So if you're with us for our expanded form lesson, you know what standard form is, right? Standard form is just writing numbers like we normally see them, right? 356, right? Or 356 and 100, right? Just writing it with our digit and our place value system like we've been doing all our lives. Word form is pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory, right? You're writing a number using words. And here is the main rule. You write it like you say it. That's all you gotta do. You write it like you say it, but you do have to be able to say it correctly. So let's talk about how we say numbers correctly. Going back to our place value understanding lesson, right? We know that our place values are split into periods, right? And there are three digits, three places in each of our periods. And it goes on, right? You have billions after this, trillions, right? All, you know, infinity all the way up, right? But the cool thing about this is they have grouped these together into threes. So all you have to do is be able to say a three digit number. So let's just fill in this big number, right? Here we go. Matter of fact, and then let's just kind of make this a different color here. Ooh, yellow and purple make red. All right, so you're gonna start right, you're gonna say the biggest period first. All we're doing is we're just saying this number right here, okay? Which we know is 875. Okay, 875. When you get to the comma, you say whatever the name of the period is. So when we get to this comma, we say million. So 875 million. And we're just chunking it like you chunk a big word. Now the next one would be 673. And when you get to this comma, you're gonna say thousand. Okay, so 673, that's all we're saying right there. So far we have 875 million. 673,000, and then our last one is 215. Now, a lot of times when we say bigger numbers, we always say the word end, all right? You cannot say the word end unless you come to the decimal point. The decimal point is what says end. So if you said 875 million, 673,000, and 215, you said the number wrong. So you can't write it correctly. Okay, it's just 875,673,215. That's what that number is. Now, if we add a decimal to it, okay, decimals have a little bit different rule. You always say the place value that your last digit is in. So let's say this one, let's just chunk it, right? So 875,673,215. 215 and 21, right? We're just saying a number, 21 hundredths because the last digit is in the hundreds place. If we move the last digit to the thousands place, then we'd say 875 million, 215 and, and then just say this number right here, right? 201, that's how you would say it. So 201 thousandths. So just chunk these big numbers, say the name of the period when you get to the comma, and then say the word and when you get to the decimal, and then you always say the place value that the last digit is in for anything after the decimal. Pretty simple. Let's take a look at this one. All right, so what's our rule? You write it like you say it. So you gotta be able to say it right. So I went ahead and highlighted just to help us chunk it, right? So let's just, this number right here, that's just 34, right? So 34 million, 201 thousand, eight, right, it's just an eight, eight, and this is just an eight right here, right? So eight thousandths, because it's in the thousandths place. So I'm gonna go ahead and type because my handwriting's terrible, right? But let's say it again, 34 million. So 30, and then you have that hyphen right there, 34 million, 201 thousand, eight, and eight thousandths, right, THS. You write it like you say it, but 
you have to be able to say it correctly. So one thing I just want to point out real quick, you notice that anytime you're writing a 10 in the ones place, right, like 21, 32, there's always a hyphen between that, okay? So 34 million, that's my comma, right? 201,000, there's my uh, comma, eight, there's my decimal with the end, and then eight thousandths, there's my last place value. So kind of, when, you, when you highlight it like this, you can kind of see how it matches up. All right, so here is our I do problem, right? We want to write it like we say it. So this one's pretty simple. So I just have 234 and, right, that's what the decimal says, 25, and then this is in the thousandths place, so thousandths. So 234, got to have your hyphen there, and 25, so again, hyphen between the 20 and the 5, thousandths with the THS. Write it like you say it. All right, so here's our we do problem. Let's do this one together. So now what we're doing is we're taking it from word form to standard form. So the first thing I want to do when I see a number like this, especially if it's my first couple times doing this, I want to kind of squiggly line anything that tells me that I should have a comma, like an end of a period, or the decimal. Okay, and then if there's a decimal, what place value it's in. So here I see the word million. I know that's going to be a comma. Fun. Thousand. Fun. I know that's going to be a comma. 321 and Fun. Know, that's my decimal. 16 thousandths. This is so fun. So if I highlight this, I had 8 million and then 46,321 and and then 16 thousandths. So I know I have an 8 in the millions place and comma, then 46. So I can't obviously put 46,000 because I have to have three digits in the period. So that's going to be 0 in the 100th place, hundred thousandths place, then 46,321 and, and then here's the tricky part. A lot of people just want to put 16, but then your last digit would be in the hundredths place, right? <laughs> So what I like to do for this, especially as I'm learning, is I know my last digit needs to be in the thousands place. So I'm going to go ahead and put three dashes all the way to the thousands because my last number has to be here. And then 16. So I know there's got to be a six there and the one there, which means I have to put a zero right here in my tenths place. Putting those dashes right there so I know where the last digit goes just kind of helps you... Uh, keeps us from making a mistake of just writing the 16 after the decimal, because again, that's a whole different number than 16 thousandths. So hopefully that kind of that thought process will kind of help you out. It's just going to take some practice and some getting used to. Let's take a look at a you try problem. All right, so I want you to go ahead. This should be in your notes. Check out the link in the description of the video for notes if you want to print them out or look at them. And I want you to, uh, especially for this second one, go ahead and squiggly line and put the comma right for anything that you know uh, says that tells you to put a comma or a decimal and then the place value of the decimal. And then for these other ones, say it and then write it, all right? So go ahead and pause the video when you're ready and then push play when you're ready to check your work. So hopefully you just pause it. So before I write it, I need to make sure I can say it. I know it's 765 and two, and then that's in the thousands place, so two thousands. So I have 765, don't forget the hyphen right there, and, right, that's my decimal, two thousandths with the THS at the end of it. Again, for the decimal, you always write the place value that the last decimal's in. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and squiggly line here. I had 543,000, so I know that's my first comma that I see, first name of a period. And, I'm assuming that's supposed to say 40, not fort. And, well, that's going to be my decimal right there, 45 hundredths. So I know my last digit needs to be in the hundreds place. So I'm going to write this one down here where I have a little bit more space. So you should have 543,000, right, and 4,500. So you know right here, you don't actually have anything in the ones period, okay? You can't just put the decimal right there. So you know that you don't have any hundreds, right? Because it just went from thousand to n. So zero in the hundreds, zero in the tens, zero in the ones, and 45 hundred. So I know my last digit's gonna be in the hundreds place, and it, that would just be 45. So 543,000 45 hundreds. That one's a little bit tricky, but it's okay to fail as long as you learn from it. Let's check out this next one. And I'm gonna type this one, because this one's gonna be kind of long, right? So I had 45,000. Okay, so 45,000, 
678 moved it into the box right there and and for my decimal and then i had 17 thousand so my last digits in the thousands place i'm gonna put 17 thousandths and again you notice there isn't a hyphen there because 17 is all one word right so let me double check 45,678 and 17 thousandths. So hopefully you got that one right. If not, again, it's okay to fail as long as you learn from it. Go back and rewatch the video. This all comes down to just making sure you can say it correctly and not rushing through as you think about it. Really pay attention to the names of the periods and then also the place value of the decimal if there is a decimal in your number. Again, thank you so much for checking us out today. We know there's lots of different options online. We really appreciate you spending your time with Instructed Beats. We love having you come watch our channel. Check us out at InstructedBeats.com for all the merchandise you may want. Video lessons, songs, timers, uh, worksheets, you name it. We got it. Again, thank you so much. Instructed Beats, out.